everybody, I'm Kate Merrill. Here is a look at your top stories. Firefighters battling a large fire in the extreme heat in Concord. One firefighter was taken to the hospital for suspected heat exhaustion. This was the scene along Sudbury Road. Officials say intense flames spread from a second floor porch. No residents were hurt. Big Poppy, officially a Hall of Famer. The name David Ortiz now proudly posted in the lineup of baseball greats in Cooperstown. Big Poppy gave his acceptance speech in English and Spanish, and the crowds chanted his name as he went on stage. Many making the drive from New England to be there for the special moment. Ortiz flies back to Boston this afternoon. Mayor Wu extending the heat emergency in the city of Boston as the heat wave extends to another day. That means cooling centers will be open for residents all across the city. And some people in Dorchester uh, would have really appreciated some of that AC overnight when their power was knocked out for several hours. Eversource crews started getting the power back on this morning. Let's get a check of your weather now with Sarah. And Sarah, we are under next weather alert for some storms moving in. Yeah, we're going to be watching for that threat of some strong to even severe storms, but also the heat continuing after six days of 90 degrees or higher. We hit 100 yesterday. We have that potential again today. We'll have to see, though, the clouds may limit that. Nonetheless, it's still going to feel like the 90s, and we do have that heat advisory until 5 p.m. More concerned about the risk of some of those thunderstorms. And as I mentioned, there is that chance we could see a strong to severe one with heavy rain, lightning, also damaging wind gusts and hail are a possibility and can't rule out even uh, some rotation. Although we'll be watching though, because as we have some showers and storms approaching uh, our area, it's increasing the cloud cover that could also limit the severe potential as we get into the afternoon. But most of the activity now to our north and west. So we'll go with upper 80s to near 90, watching for the threat of those storms developing. I mentioned the heat advisory for the area shaded in orange here does not include the Cape and Islands because you're going to have that wind off the water. Pretty breezy southwest wind. You'll notice it out there. That's also going to turn up the sea. So if you're thinking about a beach day, keep in mind you've got a high risk of rip currents for the south facing beaches. As for the threat of showers and storms really picking up midday lunchtime through the afternoon and into the evening hours. As this front remains to our north and west, we do have that potential, but it should slide south and east, pushing all the activity on out of here. So we'll bring in dry air as we head into your Tuesday. Seasonable weather as well. Temperatures do climb back into the upper 80s. The chance of another shower late Thursday, potentially into Friday. But right now, keeping it warm and dry into next weekend. Kate? All right, Sarah, thank you. I'm Kate Merrill. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.